Laodicea was founded in the middle of the 3rd century BC by the king Antiochus II. It was famous in the ancient world for its raven black wool, which was especially soft, and for its textile industry. It also had a great medical school located there, and it was also a banking center. In this shot, you can see the wagon wheel ruts that had been worn into the stone. This impressive courtyard leads you to the Temple of Apollo. After climbing the marble staircase to get to the entrance to the temple, you discover that the floor of the temple is plexiglass. This helps you to appreciate that there are basically three phases of archaeology and excavation where you uncover it and then restoration where you rebuild it and then preservation this where you once you uncover this valuable uh, valuable artifacts how do you preserve them and so uh, this gives you a good illustration of how costly preservation is the most costly phase of the yes. work <laughs> Here are some close-up examples of the master craftsmanship that went into making some of the decorative features. Here are the remains of the aqueduct that brought water from a spring near Denizli. If you're wondering, like I was, how much water can these aqueducts carry, we were told that aqueducts at Paul's time delivered 200 million gallons of water a day to the city of Rome. Aqueducts brought water to this stone tower, which was a water distribution tower. The water that came down from the hillsides was very hard from lime content and it clogged up the pipes over a period of time. The stadium Built in 79 AD, seated over 20,000 people and was longer than three of our football fields. In 60 AD, an earthquake did extensive damage here and the Roman government offered all the cities in this area federal aid to rebuild. All the other cities accepted this aid except Laodicea, which used its own wealth and resources to rebuild. The Christian church here was founded by a disciple of Paul's, Epaphras. Around 90 AD, John the Apostle in Revelation 3 addressed Laodicea as one of the seven churches and condemned them for being complacent, self-satisfied, and spiritually bankrupt. 
As with many of these ancient sites in Turkey, archaeological excavations are still ongoing.